Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be uh, doing some um, propagation of ivy. Sorry if I don't fit in the camera, but I'm trying to get the ivy in. Um, <clears throat> so this ivy has been downstairs uh, in my basement for, uh, well, all winter. And uh, I've got my grow light set off to the side, so it, it really gets very limited light. I haven't really watered it all winter either. Um, it's it's kind of cool down here. It's sitting on a cement floor. so. The root system is cool, so the plant itself is, is sort of going dormant, but I have noticed that it has been uh, trailing along and, and doing what it does. Um, I had it over on the other side where my uh, sump pump was, and uh, I had to move it from there because it seemed to really try to go towards the water. I don't have water in my basement, but uh, whenever it rains, the sump pump obviously fills up and then it pumps the water out of the house. So uh, I noticed that it was getting to be a little bit of a mess over there, so I ended up moving it to this side. Um, and, uh, yeah, I haven't really done anything, like I said, so now I've got a lot of dead ends, I've got, uh, some leaves, some leaves are, are yellowing, but, uh, you know what, I don't really care, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to chop this plant back, and we're going to take some, uh, some cuttings from it, and, uh, yeah, we'll try to grow some new ones. Um, maybe we'll fill this pot in a little bit better than it was earlier on. So what I want to do, I'll explain the whole process for you. Um, I'm just going to cut back these these uh, plants. Um, I don't know, I'll probably leave, because these are really, really long, these, these uh, vines are about five feet long, maybe six feet long. I'm going to leave about a, a foot of the vine in the soil and I'm going to cut off the rest. So when I cut it off, I've got horrible little scissors. I'm going to cut it off. I don't know whether you can see that. I'm cutting it off just above where a leaf node is. That way I don't have that dead stem. But really, if you wanted to, you could just chop it off if you have some head shears. Um, you could just chop it right across. No harm done. So what I'm going to do also is I'm going to take note of where the where the the back of the vine is and where the where the the, the front of the vine is, uh, that is very important when you're taking cuttings of vines. If you plant the wrong end in the soil and it's facing the wrong way, you will not have this grow. It will it will refuse for you and uh, you'll be like, what? Where's my plants? Uh, I was told that it was really easy to propagate these things and uh, and they don't seem to do anything. So that is probably why you probably stuck it in the ground upside down and it doesn't know what to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to, wish I had some head shears, chop off many, many pieces here. Like I said, they're going to be about a, a foot from, the, from where they come out of the soil. I'm just going to take off the, the dead leaves, there's no need. And over here I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm laying them all so they're all facing the same direction. So. Um, let me pick them up here again. These are all uh, from the pot. These are all their growing tips on this side. That way when I take them upstairs I'll have no questions. I know exactly which way they face. And again, I'm not going to be able to use all of these for cuttings. Um, but I will definitely be able to use enough. We're going to do two methods of propagation. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to do two methods of propagation. Uh, both of them are stem cutting methods, um, but we're going to we're going to try to root some in water, and we're going to try to root some in uh, just in soil. Some of these might be just dead. We'll deal with that later. Ivy is a wonderful one that. Um, generally puts roots out at every every leaf node. Um, if you grow it in the garden, you'll know that, or if you've had it grow up the side of your house, you'll know that too, because... Uh, let me find one. I don't see any right here. That's too bad. Um, but along the stem, right under each leaf, you should notice some, some little baby roots popping through. On this one I don't see any, but that's fine. We'll get to it. So I've got this horrible looking stack of, uh, of um, ivy here. We're going to take these 
upstairs and we're going to show you what to do to uh, propagate these so stay tuned all right stay tuned all right, we're all set up we're ready to go um, <clears throat> remember how I was saying down uh, when we were downstairs taking the cuttings that uh, generally along the leaf nodes uh, you will get uh, roots forming I actually found some right here see how the leaf comes out of this area right here and these little things sticking out are actually roots so if you see that then you're pretty well guaranteed that it's going to uh, gonna go gonna root for you so that is wonderful news so when you're um, when you're taking cuttings of ivy or any other vine you want to first this is the the back end of it that's where, where we cut it from the plant then this is the growing tip as you can see uh, generally they'll narrow towards the growing tip but uh, not always the case uh, it's it's the case if you're you're getting the, the very very new growth but not necessarily the case if you're cutting the plant back and and uh, you have like three or four feet of vine to work with uh, then it can be quite difficult and as you can see uh, this ivy leaf it's it's coming from one side and it twists around and it's all gnarly and doing whatever so you really don't know <laughs> you have no idea it's just a guess as to what direction this was actually growing in um, so anyway make sure to label things and and know which which end is up uh, good thing to do in in life as well know which way is up Oop, cutting that off so I'm just uh, chopping uh, the excess stem off of there. We want to get it close to the node, maybe a centimeter from the from the plant uh, leaf node there. And you want to have at least two growth nodes and then the, the top here. So I'm going to chop it off here at the third. We still have a leaf on here so that's nice. Uh, and again we have roots growing here. So that's beneficial. And this is the top. This is the bottom. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one leaf off. There's our cutting right there. Easy peasy. And this one I'm going to put in soil. And because there's roots growing along here, and it's not necessarily something you have to do, but I'm going to do it, I'm going to try to make sure that that root section uh, has contact with the soil as well. So I'm going to put it in. I'm going to make a little hole with my finger. I'm going to pop that stem down in the hole and I'm going to bend the stem over so that um, that rooted uh, node makes contact with the soil as well. It might not stay there but that's okay. I can always get a little stone or something a little later on and, and pop it down in there. Uh, but that's fine. So there's one cutting done. Here's another, uh, another nice looking uh, cutting. I'm actually not going to um, uh, do anything with this one. I'm just going to take, going to take this long stem because remember we we cut it off close to the leaf, or we tried to. So there's this long spacing between the next leaf. So we want to cut it about a centimeter. There's the new leaf right there. I'm going to just chop that off. We're going to remove this bottom leaf. This one we're going to put in the water. Just rest it in there. It's got, uh, oop, I'm a little too high. There we go. Pop it in there. We're going to do both methods and we're going to see which one roots better. We're going to come back and, and revisit this in, uh, in a few weeks time and we'll see what's, what's happening. Here's a nice long stem. So this one we can get a few cuttings from. These ones will get a little bit more difficult because it's going to be harder to, uh, to tell where we're at. Um, again, you can see where the leaves were, so you want to have one, two, three, four nodes it is is nice, nice long cutting. Cut it off close to where the leaf node is. This is the bottom. I'm going to take off that yucky leaf. Sure, there's no leaves on that, but so what? So what? Um, it's always best to keep some leaves on for photosynthesis, but uh, I'm not going to worry about it right now. Got a lot of uh, a lot of cuttings here. Chop this off close to the leaf node. Just like that. 
pop it into the soil. Looks like these little guys have scale insect too, that's not good. Rub those little guys off. Scale insect is a horrible thing for me. Usually you'll find that there's a stickiness to the leaf or the stem. Okay, so I got four cuttings in here. If we got scale insect, I don't want to make as many cuttings as I had initially intended. Let's see here. We'll use this one. This one here. See how the leaves are kind of um, kind of pointing down? That's this is the bottom. This is the the tip, the growing tip. See, that would confuse anybody because you would think, oh, the leaves are all pointing upwards. But but that's not the case. It, the leaf, the vine was growing downwards, and the leaves are all pointing up. So, I'm gonna take off a couple of leaves here. I'm gonna take off this growth tip. Normally, you would leave that on, but sometimes the uh, the new growth when you're doing this will uh, will wither up and die anyway. So, popping it in there, making sure the node is has full contact with the uh, with the soil. Here's a beautiful cutting right here. I'm going to chop it off right at this spot here, just above the leaf. I'm going to take off this bottom, this bottom leaf here. We're going to pop it in the soil. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to pick and choose here. I don't want that one. That's got some scale insect on it. Yuck. Makes me sad. Right. I'm gonna, gonna actually chop this one off right here. Maybe I can make two cuttings from this one. Oh, where did that go? This is for here. It gets hard to work with ivy because they, they like to intertwine with each other and makes it difficult to uh, to know what's happening. They start pulling each other around. There we go. Another beautiful cutting. This one has uh, lots of vine. I'm not going to do anything with this one. There's a lot of... If I was outside, this has a lot of roots along the, the base. Mm, maybe I will take some of this. I'm going to chop it here. And I'm going to chop it here. This one has roots right there. So what I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to take off this bottom leaf. I'm just going to lay this one across the soil so that the roots have firm contact. You're like, Bill, but that's not sticking it in the soil. Works both ways. This is like an air layer, except it's not attached to the plant. All right. So anyway, we've got, let's do one more cutting here for, uh, for the water. Okay, I'm going to chop it off here, and I'm going to chop it off close to the leaf node here, put it in there in the water again, let's do one more for the water. Chop it off here above the leaf node, take off that leaf, this is the bottom, chop it close to the node. I'll take two leaves off because they're really close together. Put those in the water there too. So what we're going to do, I've got a few cuttings in each each pot. I don't need any more than that at the moment. Um, I would have liked to have taken more, but uh, this plant is not the healthiest one in the world. So uh, it, this is actually easier if if you uh, if you're doing it in the springtime when you got the nice lush new growth. Because uh, the the the, no, the spacing between the leaves is is much shorter, so it makes it a lot easier to find uh, healthy cuttings. And usually, when they're outside, they don't have the uh, the insect damage like being downstairs does. Um, stressed out environment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to water these well. Give them a good drink. Want to see the water run out the bottom? Fill up this cup of water here, 
right to the top. And I have a lid here. You can either use a Ziploc bag, that's my usual method of choice, but I have this uh, terrarium here. This top. I'm going to put it in a sunny location, not a direct sun location. Uh, if you give it direct sun, you'll probably end up wilting the vine. Um, but, a, but a very sunny, indirect location uh, is, is wonderful. If you can provide bottom heat, that will uh, speed up the process, but it's not necessary for ivy. So we're going to come back to this maybe in two or three weeks, and we'll see how it's, uh, how it's growing. Hopefully we'll see some roots and some new sprouts. Ivy generally doesn't take very long to, uh, to take hold. So anyway, stay tuned and um, check up later and see the updates.